This one's called Lethal Weapons. We sat there watching Lethal Weapon 3 on Christmas Eve. Forget the Grinch. Apart from Bad Santa and Die Hard, what's the best movie on Christmas Eve? It came to the point where Renee Russell starts to compare her scars with Mel Gibson's. You looked at me like, don't. But I did. I showed you the one on my hip when I fell onto a bottle of Bushmills without taking a sip. The one from Joseph Mulligan on my lip after I hit him on the head with a payphone because he called me something unmentionable. The two on my abdomen that kept me bedridden for three weeks as a seven-year-old after an unfortunate encounter with my brother and a hedge clipper. The one on my ankle from playing soccer ball in Wellingtons. The one on my eye from that foot fight in Sheffield. The one on my wrist shaped like a watch face when the lad in Rochdale thought he was biting my ear off. The one on my cheek from the police baton in Brighton and then my wonky nose from all the bouncers in the world. I showed you it all and then yes, you did. You lifted up your dress and showed me where they stitched you up, those doctors on the maternity ward, when they neglected to take care and you lost nearly everything. That's the end of that. Wow. But sometimes what comes out of it. So this one's called She Is Not A River. Which sounds like a soul song, you know? She's not a real song. <laughs> really? Doesn't it? I don't know. Like a Philly, Philly soul shit. Yeah. With curly jerry curls and all that stuff. Oh, Lord. Oh, don't go there. So, yeah, she is not a river. He asks me, my brother, what is it like? Based on past experience, it's like a trickle that becomes a sea. This new one, she is not even a river yet. Although she babbles like moments, I say. Oh, you remember the brook trout we caught under the discarded metal sheet from the factory? It struggled, one short muscle, rusty as we pulled it from its hiding place. You might laugh, but she's like that, except for the colour. And Dad had told us how easy it was back in Ireland to tickle them. How free and easy they were then. The boys and the fish, not the women. <laughs> we didn't eat the trout, and that's no metaphor. Big Mike. Dogs had been hung too close to our water. Rope swings were used as nooses by the local gang in some tribal adolescent rite that wiped out the neighborhood spaniels. And so we took to the canal. Man-made waterways were more like our kin, calm and told what to do. The pike there were a challenge. They predated us even, but you could hook them. You could sometimes reel them in. Yeah, and that's it. So.